Adobe FrameMaker, Feature Spotlight. Split large documents into smaller ones. Whether it's to turn a painfully long Word document into a working FrameMaker book, or to move content into a topic-based authoring system like Dita, sometimes you need to break large documents into smaller components. In the newest release of FrameMaker, you now have something that can help. A robust document splitter function which gives you an easy, repeatable way to break those long documents into smaller chunks. Here's how it works. Identify the paragraph styles that are used to organize the document. This document uses a Heading 1 style that seems to break up the content the way that I like. But you'll see later that you can choose any number of styles to set as file breaks. For any areas that need breaks, but that don't use those paragraph styles, you can define a custom marker that you can place as needed for manual breaks. In this document, this Heading 2 section might be large enough to be its own file. Since I don't want to take all Heading 2s and create new files from them, instead of setting Heading 2 to break, I can define a custom marker to use where I need manual file breaks. You can see that I've created a custom marker called Split Doc, which seems intuitive, at least to me. I'll just place that marker here, and now I'm ready to go. To start the splitter process, go to File, Utilities, Split Current Document. Save the document. The Split a Document dialog opens up, and I can see that my source document is already displayed in the top field, and I can confirm the destination for the files resulting from the split. I'll set the white space and special characters both to replace with hyphens. Clicking on Next, I can identify that custom marker that I use to indicate manual breaks, as well as identify the paragraph styles that will create most of my file breaks. In this case, just Heading 1. Now I can click on Analyze to start the process. Next, I get a screen that shows me my prospective file breaks. You can see that Crew Area, where I put in my custom marker, is one of them. One of my Heading 1s History of Flight isn't quite long enough to be its own file, so I can choose to remove that document from the list. Notice that the splitter function will push this up into the general description.fm file. It's a good idea to review all the headings for the proposed splits. For instance, this one, general description.fm. If this was the name of my input file, I would run into trouble trying to overwrite this file, and so I might want to change the file name. You can do that down here, as needed. When you're happy with your file names, click Start the Split. FrameMaker analyzes the document, gives you a report of what's been happening, an alert box to tell you that it's done, and even an HTML page to tell you what's happened with each of the individual files and each of the individual graphics. More importantly, inside of FrameMaker, you now have a working FrameMaker book with all of your split files added to the book just as you'd expect. This book is now ready to add a generated TOC or index file or for further processing into structured content. As you can see, the entire process is configurable and customizable. That extends all the way down to the CSS used to display the report. For a personalized demo or questions, please write to us at techcom at adobe.com.